Hey everybody, I'm Sergio with Mobility Direct and welcome to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to show you how to use a multimeter to troubleshoot your mobility scooter. Mobility scooters run off of 12 volt batteries usually. It's a 24 volt setup and using a multimeter, you can troubleshoot a lot of components, figure out if your batteries are good, figure out if your ignition's bad, your motor, your brakes, a whole bunch of stuff. Before I get started, I just want to mention a few quick things. Number one, if you want a copy of our free product catalog, all you have to do is go to our website, www.mobilitydirect.com. Click on the green button at the top of every page that says free catalog, and one will be in your mailbox within one to two weeks tops. I also want to say that if you subscribe to our YouTube channel, you're automatically going to get entered into our monthly giveaway. That's right, we give away a free mobility scooter once a month, and all you have to do is subscribe to enter. You're already here, so just hit that button if you're not already subscribed, and you could be the next lucky winner. I'm gonna throw the last winner on the screen so you know it's legit, and we'll be right back with you. All right, we're here. We're pulling up to the uh, lucky winner's apartment building, and we're gonna bring the scooter up to her door, and we're gonna get the reaction on video. I'm pretty excited, this is awesome. I mean, we're giving away a mobility scooter to someone that truly needs it, so. Stay tuned, we're gonna go up the elevator, it's on the third floor, and we're gonna present this custom scooter to the winner. Oh, I like that. Oh, thank you. Man. You like the scooter? No, it ain't for me. We're giving this. I was gonna say, you look like you can run a marathon. You don't need a scooter. We're actually giving this one uh, to one of the residents here on the third floor. It might be your neighbor. Yeah, they entered into a giveaway raffle and they won. That's why we're getting it on camera. Exactly. Oh yep. my gosh. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> Hello. It's good to meet you. Yeah. This is your Hi, Justin. Oh, God bless you. You won. All right, so I'm just we're here with tissue. Gloria, and she's got her scooter that we're donating, and all she did was subscribe to our YouTube channel about a year ago. <laughs> I said it's a godsend that I got this. It's a miracle, really. I needed it desperately. Well, it's, it's something we're really happy to be able to do, Gloria. Thank and, you. And we really appreciate those kind words. And it's pretty easy. All you have to do is subscribe. This is what we're doing here every six months. So if you know somebody else that could use one, please tell them about it. All right, welcome back and good luck to you if you subscribed. Hopefully you're the next lucky winner. We're gonna go ahead and get started here showing you how to use a multimeter. Just a general overview of how it works. So I have a Klein Tool multimeter here. And the key here is to have a multimeter, not just a voltage meter, because with a multimeter you can test DC voltage, AC voltage, resistance. You can do a continuity test and all of these things. You can use these different features to test different components out on your mobility scooter. We have an entire playlist dedicated to showing you how to test every different component of a mobility scooter using this tool right here. So make sure you check out that playlist. The link is in the description below, but I'm gonna give you a few examples of how this multimeter works, starting with the voltage test on DC mode. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put our multimeter on the 200 volt setting there, and that's gonna allow us to test up to 200 volts. And you're gonna take your positive probe, stick it to the positive end, the negative to the negative. Now on lithium batteries, you can get as high as 14 volts. So the lithium batteries take a little bit higher of a charge, which is why you want a lithium battery charger if your scooter has lithium batteries. Lithium battery chargers will charge your lithium battery all the way up to about 14 volts. On a standard lead acid battery, if you do the same test, you're gonna get a little bit lower of a reading. So this one needs a little bit of a charge. A fully charged sealed lead acid battery could get just under 13 volts. So you do get a little bit lower of a voltage and these batteries are a lot heavier than the, the lithium batteries. Lithium batteries are super lightweight, about half the weight of a sealed lead acid battery. They charge faster, uh, they come with a better warranty. They're more expensive, but they're definitely better batteries. So check out our lithium battery videos. We have a ton of them. You can upgrade most of your mobility scooters to lithium if they come with sealed lead acid batteries standard. So that's one way to use your multimeter. We're gonna go ahead and show you a different way. We have a horn switch. A horn switch is pretty straightforward. There's a negative and a positive, or a, two pads on the back usually, and when you hit the button, the circuit is closed. When you're not hitting the button, the circuit's open. How do we test that? We put our multimeter on continuity mode. 
that's going to tell us if there's either an open line, which is what it's showing now, or if you touch the two together, it'll beep. And that basically means that the wire has made contact and closed the circuit. So if you usually have two red wires going to your horn, it's only going to beep if you hit the button. So if you put your positive and your negative to the two spots there on the back and then hit the button, you should get a beep. Let me put them in the screw holes there. See, so I'm hitting the button. And as I'm hitting the button, the continuity beeper is going off. And that's just showing that this horn is doing its job of closing the circuit and leaving it open when it's not being touched. I'm going to give you one other example of testing continuity. This is an ignition switch. So right now I have it in the off position. So if I touch the two probes, you won't get a beep. No beep. Now if I turn the key, if I put the key in and put it in the on position, which is clockwise, and I do the same test, you're going to get a beep. That's because all a ignition is, is it's closing or opening the circuit. So when it's off, the circuit's open. When it's on, the circuit is closed. Basically, it's like connecting the two wires. So right now, the ignition switch is on, and if I connect, if I touch the two probes, it beeps. That's because essentially it's making those two wires connect by closing the circuit. So that's how you would test an ignition, and we have a separate video on that if you want to learn how to do it. And one last thing I want to show you is how to test resistance. So I'm going to move my multimeter to the resistance setting, which is that little omega sign. I'm going to put it on two, or 20K, which is more than enough to test this potentiometer here. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to put our probes on the outside two wires and see what the reading is. So here we have a resistance of 5. So the range it should be equal to 5. So once you know the range is 5, you want to put your multimeter probes, instead of being on the outside two, you want one on the outside and then one in the middle. And then you're going to swing your throttle forward and back and you're going to see the resistance gradually go up or down. So right now I'm pushing the throttle. You can see it's going up in resistance from, from 15.4 roughly. If I let it down, it goes back down to about 12.9. And then if I go in the other direction with this paddle, it goes down from 15.4 to about 14.4. I'm sorry, from about 15.4 all the way down to 10.4. So from 10.4 all the way up to 15.4, which if you remember the original reading was 5. And that is equal to the range that we're seeing here from 15.4 all the way to 10.4. And that is how you know your potentiometer is working good. So we have from 10.4 to 15.4 equals 5. And if I switch my pins back out to the outside too, it gives you 5. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you use a multimeter to test a throttle potentiometer. We have tons of videos. And almost all of our repair playlist videos, we use this same type of multimeter. So if you're going to be doing your own repairs at home, troubleshooting parts, this is a must have. Hopefully you've learned something today in this video. Be sure to subscribe so you can get notified when we release new videos just like this one. We have tons of maintenance videos, expert tips on how to get the most out of your mobility scooter. So check them out. Again, I'm Sergio with Mobility Direct. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day. Before you go, please don't forget to visit our website, mobilitydirect.com, and click on the green button that says Free Catalog to claim your very own free catalog. Just fill out the short form and it should get to you in about a week or two max. I just want to take this time to personally thank each and every one of you for watching this video. We couldn't do it without our subscribers. So if you like our content, please go to YouTube, search for Mobility Direct, and subscribe to our channel. You can enable notifications. That way you'll get notified whenever we release new videos. We're constantly making great videos. We have tons of playlists that range from repair videos, unboxing videos, research and development, and much, much more. If you like this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and ask any questions in the comments section below. We love hearing from our audience, whether it's feedback, comments, or suggestions for a new video topic. We love hearing from you. None of this could be done without our loyal audience. We hope to hear from you. Thanks for watching again. Have a great day.